My past relationship with food was an addiction. One day I woke up and I was like, oh my goodness, I'm almost 400 pounds, how did this happen? I'm just like, all right, something has to change. I decided to have weight loss surgery. It took two years to lose a majority of the weight. At my heaviest, I was 357 pounds and I am now 147 pounds. After weight loss surgery, they definitely tell you not to get pregnant until 24 months post-op. I became pregnant with my son 18 months after having my weight loss surgery. His survival rate was about 57%. Everything was out of my hands and there was nothing I could do. My weakness, donuts. Cake snacks, granola bars that were nowhere near healthy, fruit snacks. I could eat all of that probably in one sitting at my heaviest, which is insane. My past relationship with food was an addiction. I grew up in a single parent household, so for us it was budget and convenience. We would go to McDonald's because, you know, they had the dollar menu back then. For me, it was just normal. We're a family that loves food. We're a family that loves to eat. And we're a family that doesn't judge. Morning. Hey, girl. Growing up, living an unhealthy lifestyle, I just, I didn't know anything different. I didn't know what healthy food was. It was hard knowing that my mom wasn't able to provide us with the healthiest meals. Don't forget you got high cholesterol really young I too. also had high cholesterol very, very young. I had cholesterol, high cholesterol in the third, fourth, and fifth grade. It was kind of hard living that lifestyle and then growing up and not having to live that lifestyle. It definitely took over my life to a point where I was like, oh, I won't get past this certain weight. I won't get past that certain weight. And one day I woke up and I was like, oh my goodness, I'm almost 400 pounds. How did this happen? Walking up the stairs would have me winded. Even sleeping, I was like, oh my gosh, my bones. I noticed Jana's confidence being affected by her weight when it was 115 degrees outside and she would be in a hoodie and sweatpants. And knowing that she wasn't comfortable in her skin to the point where she had to hide herself in a hoodie in 115 degree weather, walking home, like you could have passed out. Like looking back, it's crazy to see how low my self-esteem was. Every week we used to go to all you can eat sushi. And I'm sitting in my chair and all of a sudden the chair goes, I felt like I was kind of like in a snow globe and I was just being like shaken up with anxiety and just like, flooded with like fear and then everybody's watching me. It was just so embarrassing. I'm just like, all right, something has to change. And I ended up consulting a weight loss surgeon and that is where my story began. I decided to have weight loss surgery in 2019. For me, the fear of the surgery didn't settle in until I was literally getting wheeled into the operating room. I think it was scary for me because my mom did have the surgery and I was the one that was waiting for my mom in the waiting room as well. And my mom did have some complications. Not knowing that my sister can possibly not make it out of this was the scariest thing. There's such a wide spectrum of risks that come with gastric surgery. After weight loss surgery, they definitely tell you not to get pregnant until 24 months post-op. I became pregnant with my son 18 months after having my weight loss surgery. I had every complication known to man during my pregnancy. It was just thing after thing after thing and I couldn't catch a break. My son was born 13 weeks early. They told me that his survival rate was about 57%. And hearing that as a mom, I don't know, you kind of just, like your heart breaks because you don't really know what to do. It was fear. Everything was out of my hands <laughs> and there was nothing I could do. Thankfully, he is so happy and so healthy. <laughs> and that's all that matters. Everybody says weight loss surgery is the easy way out. With all the side effects and complications I had, I wish I could have done it naturally. It is not a shortcut, it is not a cheat code. You still have to be in a caloric deficit. You still have to work out. You still have to eat your body weight and protein. You still have to watch where your carbs are and your fats. So I was working out at home, walking with my son and just making healthy choices. At my heaviest, I was 357 pounds and I am now 147 pounds. It took two years to lose a majority of the weight and I have luckily been maintaining it for the last year and a half. My first time at the gym, I had no idea what I was doing. I would walk into the gym and have no idea what I was looking at. Now I can say I'm pretty confident in what I'm doing. When it comes to training and working out, I really just do it when I want to lean out or maybe I want to shape a certain muscle or something like that. It's not really something that I would say is super consistent. I focus mainly on healthy living and diets and family activities. I definitely live an active lifestyle, 
but it's active in different ways than going to the gym for an hour. Unfortunately, with excessive weight loss comes excessive loose skin. Most of the loose skin I went removed is definitely my arm and then all of my midsection, I need to get a body lift, a 360 body lift. I knew it was gonna happen, I just didn't realize how much I was gonna have. One day in the future, if I have a spare $30,000, maybe I'll get it removed. But for right now, I'm totally content with looking like a melted ice cream cone. My body is where it needs to be, it's proportioned correctly. I lost weight to be healthy, not to be attractive. I did it for myself and for my future. Hey, how are ya? Pretty good. It's like a start for you. Wait, can I get my fave, the cookies and cream? Of course, absolutely. And waffles of your choice. I originally started my social media page as an online diary and it gained traction and I was just like, okay, like, I guess we're gonna do this. I never expected to gain a following from it. I never expected to inspire other people. I've had people ask me any question from how did you lose weight to what insurance did you have so I can try and sign up for that. Like if I can help bridge that gap, then I'm gonna do it. I just have such a genuine community of people and I thank God every day that I was blessed with that. Hey. Hey guys. Hey, 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 hey. Well, take a seat. I already ordered for us guys. Thank you. Thank you. And quick question, how much protein does do each of these have? So this right here has 30 grams of protein in the waffles and then only 300 calories. The shake itself has 150 calories for 15 grams of protein. My advice to give to someone who wants to lose weight is to start out slow. You don't have to go work out for three hours a day. Go on YouTube and type in some at-home workouts and just get started. It took you X amount of years to build where you are now. It's gonna take you X amount of years to get to where you wanna be. And seeing her go from how she was to how she is now is very inspirational to not me, but other people around her. A lot of people doubted her. A lot of people didn't understand that what she was coming was an addiction, but she conquered. It's actually amazing seeing her fulfill her dream of being a mother. She's an amazing mother. She always has been and she always will be. And she's also a great aunt. I feel great about myself right now. You know, I can truly say I'm finally happy in my own skin. If I could say something to my former self, it'd probably be, you are not defined by your mistakes and keep going, you will succeed. I feel great knowing that my son will be able to experience a mom who can run with him and teach him how to somewhat ride a bike and go swimming and just all those fun activities that I feel like are so crucial to a child's development. Being a mom is the best thing ever. He's the best thing ever and my life is great right now.